<laughs> since you since you decided to stand here for I know. so long, I'm sorry. Uh, may, maybe you earned an extra 15 seconds. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, all right, it's my pleasure to welcome everyone to the afternoon session and uh, introduce our first speaker, Brian Jackson. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Jackson. My capstone advisor is Curtis Meadow. My capstone is the health fitness appraisal. Um, so, a little bit of, of the outline of the talk today. I'm going to go over a brief history, the problems my capstone solves, the purpose of my application an evaluation of my application, complications during development, and how I solve them, and future development of the application. So a brief history. Originally, the health fitness appraisal was the idea of John Rain. He's a physician assistant in Orono, Maine. Um, it was used to appraise an individual's fitness based on several key areas. Um, it was ran in our base in the 1980s, and it ran in MS DOS. In the summer of 2012, John was looking for an alternative to his 30-year-old program, and I took the opportunity to rewrite his application. So problems, my capstone solves two problems. First being it replaces an application which is outdated for John's current needs. Uh, the first part of that is the fact that it's hard to continue developing in our base. Not only is it hard to find developers, but there are programming languages that offer more uh, cu uh, customization and uh, better things nowadays. Um, so my application moving forward is gonna be very easy to maintain and uh, expand. Um, the original application was only available from one computer. Um, since my application is a web application, it's available anywhere in the world uh, as long as you have internet. And it had a linear and outdated design. Uh, web applications have multiple ways that you can do one task, so it helps uh, for user friendliness. Um, and the second piece is that the new application must perform all tasks of the original and maintain data integrity. So what are those tasks? The purpose of the new health fitness appraisal is to assist John in these three major tasks. Adding, deleting, and searching of patients. The adding and editing of groups. And these groups are from all across the state of Maine, such as the Maine State Police or Maine Marine Patrol. Um, adding groups allows them to log into the application and view their patients. And the final and most important piece is the ability to print out a report summarizing the patient's fitness in several key areas. Um, this side saves John time because the report is automatically generated. So an overview of some of the technical details. It's a web application design front end to back end and it includes a UI design, a uh, business layer, and a security layer. Um, it's written in PHP with a MySQL back end database. Queries are performed with prepared statements in MySQL I. Uh, we have a user's table in the database that contains user and groups, uh, a patient's table which contains patient information with over 50 parameters, and it uses some JavaScript and jQuery for user friendliness. And we have open source PHP libraries and includes for input validation and parsing of Excel files. So, what would a typical user do? They would log into the application, they would add a group, they would add a patient to that group, then they would edit some sections of the patient information, such as body composition or risk appraisal, and then they would view and print the patient's report. They would then take this report and send it to the group so that they can view their patient's uh, appraisal. And the reason why they do this is that they send these reports to groups is because when they have hire employees, they need to uh, meet certain physical requirements and fitness requirements. So groups, they're, as I said before, they're allowed to log in and view their patients. Uh, the security is there so that they cannot edit, add, or delete patients. Um, and as we see from this screenshot below from PHP My Admin, uh, the groups are contained in the same table as, as users, but toggled by the column is group. So if it, if it has a one in that column, it means it is a group. If it's not, then if it's been a zero, then it's just a normal user. Um, and also, you can notice that the passwords have been um, MD5 hashed after salting. Um, so we'll go over a quick demo of the application. Um, so just a quick disclaimer, all this information that it, that's in the application is publicly available anywhere on the web. This is my development server, so none of it's uh, confidential information. Um, so when you, after you log into the application, we could use these widgets at the right-hand side here to quickly access a patient. But let's say the patient that we're looking for isn't on the, left, uh, on the right here. Um, so we'll go to the Browse Patients. We'll choose to search by name. In this case, we're going to look for Roger. We found our patient, Roger Waters, so we'll edit him. So on the general edit page, we see some demogra uh, demographic information such as date of birth and address. Um, I've also filled in the risk appraisal information um, just for as some test data so that on the final report we can see more data. Um, some of the fields are calculated from some of the other parameters that have been input into the program. I've also filled out the muscular evaluation page. 
just for more information at the end. And so we're going to fill out the body composition page. So we'll put in a percent body fat of 50. And when we click submit or press enter, it automatically loads and that weight, lean body weight and ideal weight have been calculated. This is based on the patient's age, their sex, and other factors such as weight in this case. Um, so now we've edited this patient and added something else to their uh, fitness report. So let's go and view their fitness report. So we'll use this handy widget at the right here. And this is the true meat of the application. This is what John's looking to print out and send to groups. Um, so on this page, we have uh, different things, a summary of all the stuff that's been input into the application. Some stuff has not been in input, such as health risk appraisal stuff right here. But the other stuff from the other page that I put on, on the risk appraisal page, we see all the values and the same calculations. It can also be seen that the body composition, the 15% we just put in, is also on this page. Um, and same with the muscular evaluation down here. Now the analysis reports provide a way to offer recommendations to patients. So not only does it again provide a summary of the inputs of the uh, program, so like weight and body, percent body fat for body composition uh, and recommended weight loss, but it also provides a rating. So in this case, Roger Waters has got an excellent rating of body composition fitness. Um, so there's an interpretation here which says a little bit about what percent body fat and ideal weight and recommended weight loss means. It also has recommendations. Since his rating is excellent, it, the recommendations are to keep up the great work and continue exercising and eating appropriately. So let's say we had a patient who had only a uh, fair rating. So we'll go back and we'll edit uh, Roger Waters' body composition to be something else. So we'll go back to the edit page by using that. And we're going to change this to 25%. Again, we'll submit. We see the values have changed. And we'll go back and view the patient's fitness report. So we'll scroll down to the analysis reports, open body composition, and he has a rating of fair. Um, so if you look at the recommendations, it's actually changed out. So now it tells him that he should start reducing food intake by 500 calories and also exercise more to burn another 500 calories. Um, so that's pretty much the main points of the application. You go and you add patients, you edit parts of them, and you uh, print out this fitness report. So we'll go back to the... So an evaluation of performance. As you already saw when I was using my application, it was pretty fast. Uh, I was able to submit and it didn't take long at all. Uh, it was very responsive. So, but as just another example, uh, I've included at the bottom here a table of runtime for submitting a risk appraisal form filled with example data. Uh, I took this from using Google Chrome on uh, over Wi-Fi. Um, so as we can see, editing the risk appraisal page, and we do a post to the server, they return some data, and it only takes 278 milliseconds. That's pretty fast. Luckily, because the browsers do caching, a lot of the resources are cached, um, such as CS and JavaScript. Even most of these CS files and JavaScript files are pretty small by themselves. So even if the values weren't cached, then it would not take long to load them at all. And jQuery would be the largest one to load out of all these. And even then, it would probably keep it under about a second worth of load time. So an evaluation of security. Um, we use my, I use MySQL I prepare statements to combat SQL injection. SQL injection is where someone tries to take a MySQL query and put it through an in input form to try to get some kind of malicious attack, so whether it be changing a password or inserting more data into the database. Um, and MySQL I prepared statements combat this by separating the prepare and execute parts of a uh, SQL statement. Uh, we have mod security installed and configured on the Apache 2 server for extra protection. There's constant backups and updates. We have salting and MD5 hashing of passwords. And pretty much what salting is, is you take your password, you add a randomly generated um, you know, eight character string onto the end of it. In my case, I use eight characters, and you can, it differentiates. And then you pass it through the MD5 hashing algorithm, and that outputs a 32 character hexadecimal number. Um, so it's just for some extra protection of the passwords. And uh, currently in development is HIPAA component, which includes implementations such as HTTPS and data encryption. Um, so I ran into quite a few complications at the end of designing of this. The first being that when I originally designed the application, I knew that blank values need to output hyphens. Um, so unfortunately, I designed the database so that everything was a variable character with a default of hyphen. I knew it was a bad idea, but I did it anyway. <laughs> so when I had to redesign the database to meet my capstone requirements, 
I had to change everything to the correct in and float types. And as we see here with creatine, we have the original one with a variable character with a default of item. And then the new, the new implementation has a default of null with a float with the correct precision type for this uh, parameter. And I added simple PHP checks to switch out null for hyphens and vice versa for inserting back into the database. So another complication. Originally when I designed the application, I only used MySQL. Uh, again, as I said before, MySQL has uh, the problem where it, it, it's easy to do SQL injection on it. Um, and I actually figured out after I designed the application of such thing, MySQL I. So when this became my capstone, I had to actually implement this. So in, in the first one, we can see up here that we have the old MySQL statement. What happens is we have username and password, which are coming from an HTML, HTML form. Uh, this happens to be the login script. So when a user comes in, they type in their username and password, and they log in, and this query is executed. So these both come from uh, HTML forms. And if someone was to take a other uh, SQL statement and put it in there that was malicious uh, using SQL injection, it's easy because this is executed as one statement. That's all. Um, so the way MySQL I prepare statements, and, and the new one does it and fixes this problem of SQL injection, uh, we prepare the statement before executing it. And then we bind these parameters just as strings to this, and then we execute it. So pretty much what it does is it says, uh, you know, it, it prepares a statement on the server, and then it binds these parameters only as strings, so they're not going to execute as uh, query statements, even if they are. So they could try and do a SQL injection attack, but it's only going to come out as a string. Um, so that's it. So future development. There's a lot of exciting things for my project that could happen. Uh, the first being multiple visit dates. Uh, this would allow for patients to come in multiple times and be entered that way in the database. And it would allow for a comparison, a comparison of fitness improvement over time. Uh, a mobile application. This could be the whole application being ported to mobile or to port just the analysis reports. So someone might download a body composition analysis report app on their phone and they would input all this stuff when they're talking to the patient and then they would help put the recommendations and be able to automatically discuss them with this, with the patient. And uh, this would probably include creating an API. Uh, so more stuff. Uh, graphs. This would be a, allow for a comparison of age groups, sex, and other statistics. Um, you know, what, also once multiple visit dates are implemented, this would allow for a comparison of a single patient and graphing of improvement. And the final one, which is kind of more difficult in advance, would be to turn the application into a client-side application, because currently it's server-side. Everything has to go back to the server and be returned, so it constantly is having to refresh in the page. Um, so a client-side application would allow the using of JavaScript, jQuery, and AJAX calls fast data, patient data asynchronously, or retrieve data without refreshing the page. Uh, so in summary, I solved both problems while providing an easy to access and use application. It provided me with a great opportunity to use what I've learned in computer science and work experience to, fully, to provide a fully functional application. Um, and John loves this application, and I have a quote here from him below that says, the health and fitness appraisal software has greatly improved the reporting of the medical and fitness assessments for the main state police and game board. So I'd like to acknowledge some people. Uh, my father, Glenn Jackson, for constantly being supportive in all projects I pursue. Uh, Professor Chawathe for being a great capstone experience advisor. John Raymond for giving me the opportunity to work on something great and allowing me to use our project as a, my capstone. And Curtis Meadow for constantly uh, having me prove myself and my application. So thank you all for listening. And are there any questions or comments? Because currently it's only used by um, John, and really, 
you know, they, I mean, there's a ton of concerns. Uh, you know, mostly it's all security concerns, but I think for the most part, but you have to separate users into some kind of grouping so that only users can view their patients. And, you know, having them all in the same database is kind of a security concern as well. So there's a lot of security issues with doing that. But I, I mean, it's on the radar that that's a possibility depending on John's decisions. Any other questions? Yeah. So how, how easy or hard would it be to port this to some other database? That's a good question. I don't know actually. I do not know how. It probably wouldn't be too difficult. I, I use MySQL just because it usually is used with PHP. But uh, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't say it would be too hard. And when you ran the experiments, you said it was over Wi-Fi. Yes. So, but I mean, uh, can you describe every morning? Just so where was the server running exactly? Uh, my server is running at my house. Okay. Um, so I pretty much, I ran over Wi-Fi at the campus. So I mean, this is roughly about what what John would be doing. He lives in Orono. So, okay. um, but I was just saying it was Wi-Fi because you know if you're plugged in on the network, you're obviously going to have uh, faster. But the application is pretty pretty fast. Any other questions? All right, well, thank you.